Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is day two of my colour palette challenge. So, I don't know if you saw yesterday, but you can watch the videos back in order. And I started off with two colours. I started off with a Prussian blue and a white titanium on a buff titanium base. So today, I'm going to do exactly the same. A buff titanium base with a Prussian blue, a white, and this time I'm adding a gold. I'm really excited to see how all of these transform. I'm here for five days straight, one day after each other, to show you how this colour palette challenge transforms. So, let's see what we can create. So this is about ensuring that your base coverage and consistency is good. I always pile my paints in the middle of the canvas and then blow out from the centre to the edge. That helps me distribute the paint evenly across the canvas. And it will also ensure that I don't have major puddles of paint elsewhere on my canvas. So I find if I do it from the centre and blow out to the edge, that helps me ensure that I get good coverage and consistency across my base coat. And if you're doing this challenge along with me, I can't wait to hear how it's going for you too. So make sure you let me know what you think about this one and the one that you might be doing in the comments below. But one thing that I would say is don't rush your process. Really enjoy being in the present moment of the here and now and really enjoy each stage of that process of your creativity. Don't rush just to get to the end result. So I've got my base colour down and I'm just tidying up my edges before I start layering the three colours on top. So as you know, the idea of this colour palette challenge is to add one more colour each day throughout the five days. As you know, we've started off with just two colours on day one, but today I'm adding one more colour and today's colour is Precious Gold by Pebio. So I'm going to add the gold in the center of those two colors just there. And I'm mindful that precious gold or iridescent gold by Pebio always creates cells. So I'm hoping for some cell action here. So let's blow this out and look at the details as we create. I absolutely love the richness of the Prussian blue against the white titanium and the precious gold. And I really do love that solid line of Prussian blue you can see there on your screen on the left hand side. I'm just going to blow this out and I'm going to look at the composition and I'm also going to leave some negative space. I really like this design. I'm going to use my torch now to pop any of the air bubbles and then I'm going to take you in for a closer look so you can see all those details too. Here's the wet version and that's the line that I really love. It's a real big contrast to the white that's there. The gold has created the cells, I did expect that. But I really do love how these three colours work together. So we started off with just two colours on day one and then we've added the gold today on day two. 
I'm really excited to see how this dries. I will leave this to dry and I will take you in for a close up of the dry version. But I really do love how all those different tones of Prussian blue are created because it's been mixed with the titanium white. And some of the lines that I can see around those edges that contain all of those colors are really fascinating and I'm really pleased that they're there. So I hope they dry well too. So they're part of the final design. I'll take you in now for a dry look version and I'd love to know what you think so far. So we've created this piece by using just three colors. As you can see, this dried beautifully and I just love it. Look at that shimmer of that gold directly in the center of this piece. And I love that balance of the blue and the white as well. So day three, I'll add another color. So we're gonna have a color palette of four colors. Can you guess which color I'm gonna add? If you can, just drop them in the comments below let me know what you think of this piece. So we've used three colors for today and we're gonna use four colors in the next creation. I really hope you can join me for day three. If you're not watching these in order, that's totally okay. But I would encourage you to start right from the beginning so you can see how these pieces really evolve and how we can add a color to a color palette that will transform a piece from two colors to six colors. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for all of your support. I'm so excited to do tomorrow's piece, four colors, and I can't wait for you to see how that color reacts because the color that I've chosen goes really well with these three. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.